Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, we are out of Lake Palestine again today. Um, I know I come here all the time, but it's so close to my house. Um, start hitting some other lakes, but some of these lakes around here right now, Lake Fork and uh, Lake of the Pines, you got to keep every fish you catch starting December 1st up until February 28th, I believe it is. Um, or maybe it's just maybe it's January 31st. I'm not sure, but anyway, for the next two two three months, you got to catch everything. If you catch a six foot or six inch fish, you got to keep it. So I'd rather not do that. But anyway, guys, the weather is beautiful today. It's about uh, 50 degrees right now. Um, we've got a five mile an hour wind, and I don't know what the water temperature is, but I'll find that out in a minute. So we're gonna do a couple different types of fishing. I may make two shows out of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go do some bridge fishing and i'm gonna do some casting uh up on timber so uh use a six foot maybe a seven foot or a six seven uh acc crappie stick and we're just kind of throw out to those fish and see what happens so man y'all stay tuned if you would hit that like button hit that subscribe button become part of the real family as i say sleep with the real the real family so uh anyway y'all stay tuned and let's catch some fish All right, guys, it's a little chilly. If y'all don't have one of these save face things, or face saver, what's it called? Say it. Well, I can't. Yeah, save face. These things are awesome, especially during the rain, but during the winter time right now, my glasses are flying around, hard to see. Put it on and you're good to go. Hey guys, Chris with Sleep at the Real. I'm gonna talk to you today about your live scope battery. I'm using the Amped Outdoors battery, but you can use it if you want. One of the things I did though, because this thing does have a screw uh, post, I took the small screws out, went to Lowe's, got a, the same screw, taller with the same thread, thread pattern. The reason that's important for me is because I put alligator clips on my live scope battery. So for me to fish, I simply have to clip it in and my unit is turning on right now. And just set it right down here and it's good for the day so something to think about if y'all would take a look at subscribing to the channel uh we got a lot more videos on this stuff and and, and fishing all right guys hey we're out here right now on lake palestine as i said a while ago we're gonna be using acc crappie sticks i got a 12 foot rod right here i'm gonna probably pull out the six seven maybe a six foot after a while and do a little casting um out here a little pitching right now i'm using a brand new sniping braid uh that i got and i'm very impressed with it guys it's sensitive i can feel the fish right when they're hitting uh just smooth i don't have a problem a lot of times i'll have problem with braid coming off my line as i'm i'm letting it out this one is is it just comes right out doesn't tangle that much um and it's strong uh so this is a 10 pound line they got a 20 pound coming and uh a 12 pound and a 20 pound so uh, check them out, guys. Uh, Sniperbraid.com, I believe, is the, the website. So uh, check it out. Anyway, let's go catch some fish, man. Let's see what the temperature right now. Uh, water temperature is 56 degrees. So I'm fishing in 31 foot in a river channel right now. Um, I see some fish down there. We're gonna get on in a minute. I'm on. I'm not. I'm just floating around because once again the sun is coming or is is positioned right where the wind's blowing me. So. It's going to be a hard time seeing me today on this video, but uh, hey, we'll get to it. We'll make it happen. So as I do every uh, 
video, I like to start out with a prayer. So let's do it, guys. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for being our God, Lord. Uh, we thank you for this beauty that we're in right now. And I uh, pray for everybody that's on the lake right now that you'll keep them safe. Um, help them to watch out for each other, but help them to have a good time catching fish in your creation, Lord God. We love you. Pray for everybody on this channel right now that's watching this that has unspoken requests. Um, I say unspoken because I don't know what they are, but I pray that you will you help them in their individual lives, Lord. We love you. It's in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's get to fishing, guys. Let's do it. Golly. He bit it. So as you can tell, I just uh, missed the fish. And what this usually represents is smaller fish, smaller crappie, uh, are those that are not very uh, interested in biting. They're just going to play with it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't think about this in time. So I, I, I caught a couple of these small fish before I moved. So Y'all stay tuned and watch. Oh yeah, there we go, let me get up here and get you guys out of the sun if I can. Well, you know what, I really can't do that. I'm trying, but there we go, good fish. I am keeping these today, I'm feeding some of my wounded warriors and uh, I'm gonna try to bring in a boatload of them here. All right, guys, I'm using the, uh, currently, I'm using the Bonehead Stump Bug Palestine Special. Probably try some other stuff. I'm going to start pitching out here in a few minutes, but I need to catch a couple fish real quick. Got him. <laughs> Doing a little pullback. That's a little black. All right. Two down. Make it keep going here. So guys, on that one right there, um, the fish, both fish, I had two fish down there just looking at it. So what I started doing was pulling up a little bit, see if they'd follow, they followed. Started pulling up faster. At that point, they commit. They're like, hey, this thing's getting away. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna eat it. So uh, do a little faster pull, and presto, they get in there. Old Keith Acker taught me that one. Good little tip. All right, let's see if I got a pole that I can do a little casting with rigged up. Yeah. All right, guys, so I am fishing, I'm fishing really deep. I'm in about a 30, um, 30 foot, two foot depth. And so I went ahead and put three split shot on here. And the reason why is I want to be able to see exactly where my, my jig is, because there are a lot of fish down there. And it makes it a lot easier than having to watch one thing and try to figure out what's going on. But I think these are all blacks. There we are. Well, I got one. Well, no, it's not that small. Wow, good sized fish. That works well. Didn't really cast that out. I just more dropped it, but it's a legal sized fish, so we will be keeping him. Got him. <laughs> Not that big, but little blacks. No, that's. Wait, hold on, I can't see him. Yellow black. 
He swallowed that thing. Maybe we'll find me another tree that has some better fish on it, but man, they're fun to catch. Hey guys, I'm using an ACC six foot rod right now, and man, I love this thing. I'm only about five feet away from the tree, so what, let's do this again. <laughs> He's legal. Man, I don't know if he's legal or not. Let's check this one. No. Fraction of an inch, he's off. All right, now we're moving up. Got a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of fish down there. But not big enough. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and get some bigger fish. I'm not even sure if this one's legal. Don't think it is. In fact, he's way too small, I'm not even keeping. There's some big fish down there, but they're not, the ones that are big are not biting. So guys, real quick, what I'm doing here, I'm scanning right now. I know there's some brush in this area. I know there's some, some old tree stumps and tree limbs and stuff. And so what I'm doing is I'm using live scope. I'm just going out to what I have it on 45 right now. I'm going out to about 45 feet, sometimes 60 or 70, and I'm looking for stuff. It's not gonna be very clear, but I'll be able to see what's out there. And once I get closer, I can zoom in on it and go from there. So that's kind of how we're, um, it's kind of like a side scan, although with live scope. Good fish. Oh my gosh. Real good fish. Man, I wish I was in a tournament. Oh lordy. Come on. I hurt my arm the other day and I'm having a hard time flipping that sucker in. Man, look at this. I'm gonna weigh this guy. Look at that. See how long he is first. Fifteen and a half. Two pounds, guys. Oh, I cleared it. I can't see enough. Two pounds exact. Wow. Good fish. Good, good fish. Oh, guys, we're going to call it a day. Caught quite a few fish in here. Um, it's been a good time out here fishing. I, I did not do what I intended to, which was to do a bunch of uh, casting with a six foot rod. It's just too deep right now. Uh, I'm, I'm fishing 35 foot of water and uh, the fish are wanting a presentation where it just stands still and not moving. So casting out is not gonna work um, at this point. So anyway, we did it. We caught some good fish today. And um, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching, man. If y'all would consider uh, hitting that like button, the subscribe button, uh, bell for notification that allows you to see anything that we, we uh, publish. And uh, we try to have a new video out every Thursday Friday at the latest, but we're trying for every Thursday. So appreciate y'all watching. Join the real family. I call it the real family because sleep at the real, but it's a real family. Uh, we do go live on Monday nights um, a lot of times, and uh, it's a great time to get in there and ask questions and get some good answers from from myself or from anybody around the country because we do have a lot of people watching from Tennessee, Alabama, uh, New York, Wisconsin, uh, California. Got people watching from everywhere. So I appreciate y'all watching today. Have a good day and God bless you.